drum, so sinking elbow, rolling jump, tan, tan lap, and strike. This drill is just looking at a mid range strike, so the punch is going to come in. Sinking elbow cross. Your partner will then try to force the punch through, you're going to roll. It's exposed you here because you've turned. Punch comes in, tan side, turn it again, lap and punch. You do it from the other side as well, punch comes in, jumps out in, pushes through, roll. Punch comes in, tan, lap and strike. If you look at it from your form, last part you've done your last bong side, roll and jump, retake and center. What we're looking to, to learn here is that a punch has come in, you've done a jump side to cover, there's a lot of energy behind the punch. Rather than kind of then stepping back out of the way, which is our option, we're going to roll and let that energy go past us. From here, all I've rolled, I could hit, but my hand is in the way. Your partner can throw a punch, tan, lap, and strike. We spoke before about the height of the shoulder. If John had then punched and his shoulder was up, I'm not going to try and hit above. I'd do a body shot. So, once more, punch comes in, jumps out. Roll, tan lap, strike. I'll take a lap down, it takes the, the guesswork of where I'm going to hit out because I've, I've pulled this down, shoulders forward, expose the head and I can hit straight across the jawline. I've got to make sure with my lap, back to you soon in town, my wrist is bent with my lap, stopping point, I'm not using the thumb around the wrist here so I can lap. And I'm using my turn to lap, not just my shoulder, I'm not just pulling. John throws a punch in and he pushes through. As this punch comes, what I'm not doing is say, I'm not going to expose my elbow out, I'm not going to grab, I'm not lifting then and trying to pull. John's quite stable there, I'm not going to win. What I've got to do, punch comes in, jump, I roll, use my turn, okay? The speed and the, the whip of my turn, plus the position of my elbow, stopping point, and no thumb grabbing the wrist. So once more, punch comes in, jump, pushes through, roll and strike. Other side, punch comes in, jump, roll, tan lap and strike. And again, jump, roll, tan lap and strike. So you can see from the other side, I'll, I'll do some for jump. I'm going to punch here, jumps out, I push, punch, comes through. Again. Jump there, push, lap foot strike. Using your turn and the lap at the same time once more. Jump, push through, good. If I now try to put a bit more, rather than stopping and pushing, I'll just try and come in through with, with a slightly heavier punch. Not yet, just talking. I'm gonna come straight through now. So rather than stopping at this point, I'm just gonna kind of step through with the punch. So, in. Okay, from in, roll the jump, punch, and strike. Then you get cauliflower in, okay? Once more. Good. When it's quick, it has to be a lot, a lot sharper. Breaking it down nice and slow. Punch, push through, roll that jump, tan, lap, and strike. From the other side, I don't want to hit you again. You must be hit, like, hit my other ear this time. Using your turning from side to side once more. Jump, roll, punch, lap, and strike. Definite partner work, things to look for. Jumps out, sunk down, it's over your centre, stopping point. Punch is being more forceful, roll off your centre. Exposed, tan, lap, and punch. Any questions? I'm Matt Drill, get in touch if not, I'll see you soon.